what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video guys i'm going to give you an extra tip on how to boost fps here in fortnite chapter 3 season 2 or in general in any game on your pc pretty much and what are we going to talk about in today's video is extreme memory profiles guys and i'm just gonna explain it all it's gonna make so much sense and literally everyone can do it on his windows pc guys so therefore if you enjoyed this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would have made so so much ever had any photos let's get straight into this topic What I want to talk about in the first place guys is that let's just say that you're gonna buy a brand new gaming PC or you're just using the PC which you have right now it might not be actually set to its fullest potential straight out of box you know like the same way you know like the same way as you can buy like normal GPUs and there's like already pre overclocked GPUs you know both of them could theoretically run exactly the same amount of Hertz you know for the overclock but the one is already stock overclocked and other ones are not and the same also applies for other components in your Windows PC you know this also applies for your CPU, for your RAM speed, and pretty much like also fans theoretically in your PC case. I mean, you could technically also like push them up a little bit more to achieve like cooler results. And one of the main things which I want to talk about in today's video, guys, is extreme memory profiles. And I'm quite sure that some of you might have already heard it. It's called XMP. And so many people are always asking me, okay, what is it and how can I enable it or use it to get more FPS in Fortnite, guys? I'm just gonna put it right now here on screen. XMP profiles automatically set your system RAM to higher frequencies. And what this pretty much means is guys that if you enable an XMP profile on your Windows PC, it's automatically gonna set your RAM to higher frequencies. Because for most people, if they just simply buy a gaming PC or they reinstall Windows on their current PC, their RAM is not set to its fullest potential. For me, it was the same guys. I'm right now rocking 3733 megahertz RAM and mine was set to 2133 megahertz, which is of course way less, you know, you're losing out on so much power. And especially on Ryzen CPUs, this can make a huge difference in terms of FPS. So therefore guys, what you really need to do is check your XMP profile on your Windows BIOS. It's super easy to do. There are literally like tons of tutorials. I even made one myself, which I'm going to link in the description guys. So you can check it out afterwards. And if you set it on an automatic profile, it's going to boost your RAM speed to its maximum capacity. You know, it could be like 2,400 megahertz, 3,200 megahertz, even 4,200 megahertz, you know, maybe if your PC can handle that. So therefore, I just hope that this video was helpful for you and you're gonna check it. So therefore, if you're gonna check it after this video, guys, and you realize that your XMP profile was actually deactivated or on something lower than like the maximum your RAM could theoretically handle, please comment down below if this was helpful. And with that said, we're pretty much done here, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video.